So here's the Mahela Jayawadana on test debut and coming in for his first innings in test cricket just about halfway through the final day. Now that's very alert work by Ajay Dadeja, the substitute. He overbalanced. Now did he get back into his ground? The Indians don't seem all that confident somehow. And it really would be a shame for a new batsman to be out in that way. Off the pad, very alert work with Jadeja in there. Very close. But, uh, We'll wait for umpire Manuel to give the decision. Just seemed to get back in time. Just seemed to be able to push that toe back. It's going to be a very tight one for um, some Peter Manuel, the third umpire, has uh, ruled him not out. A very, very close one indeed. So it's a close call for Javodana. That's nicely struck by Jawadana. Unprotected area on the offside. Ja Jawadana quickly pouncing on that short delivery by Chawan and dispatching it to the boundary. Mr. Bowler just trying to throw it up. Did the right things, but this wicket is just so slow. He's able to get back, pick out his spot, and that'll give him a lot of confidence. Initially going forward, able to rock back. And how many times have we seen that shot from both the left and the right handers? That brings Sri Lanka's 800 for the loss of four wickets. Once again, Jawadra giving himself room, waiting for that short delivery. Chawan not doing himself much good, striving to get a little bit more flight, dropping it short into the over. Sri Lanka 806 for four. Oh, juicy full toss on the onside and Mahala Jawadana just picking the gap. There's no stopping him there. And good footwork there, right back on the stumps, so that he could find the gap on the offside. So another boundary for the young man. Again, it exposes the cruelty of being a bowler under these circumstances. Not a particularly bad ball, but just short enough, and the slowness of the wicket gives him plenty of time to get back and strike the ball through the gap on the offside. So, Jar Wardner getting away to a very good start to his test career. Yeah. And another lovely shot through the onside. It's not an easy shot to play, but Kumble doesn't spin the leg break that much. Good balance and good body position here. He gets the foot outside the ball to make room for himself to swing the bat and his arms through. He hit that quite wide, really. Normally expect those to perhaps go past mid-on, but it really went past mid-wicket. And nice balance, his head over the top of the ball. As Ravi said, there's not a lot of spin back from the leg side, so he just waited for it to drift onto the pads. Got his leg out of the way and no trouble at all to pierce the gap. And they outfield quite fast. So it's been a really good performance by the young man. And again, and the result the same. Well, you could save the replay from the first one and use it again because it is virtually identical. This time I think he did it with more confidence and uh, 
have moved into position much more quickly with the confidence of the previous shot. Brings up the 50 partnership between these two. But he's now got enough confidence that he can go down the wicket and plant this one through square leg for four. Yes, and that's the 8.50. So it's uh, Wardenow just joining in. There are the figures. Sri Lanka just creeping up, and they're not very far away now from that uh, top score. Dravid's behind the stumps now. Mongia has given away to him, and it goes all the way for Baez. Dravid has kept wicket in tests before when Mongia has been incapacitated, but it, it's a difficult job for him when the ball is turning down the leg side. The end of the over. 855 for four. They obviously, as you have said before, there have been many, many occasions where they played well in one day cricket, and they have something to prove in Test match cricket. And as we speak, Javadina, the young fellow who's just come into the Test match, first Test he's played, he's just got his 50. Wonderful stroke pass mid on. So uh, another Sri Lankan batsman gets his 50, and uh, they just have put on a wonderful display. And and it's uh, for the country, I think. They're trying to make their way in, in uh, Test cricket, and this will be a, a fillet for all the, the country as a whole. Yeah, they're, they're, they're folks. I mean, one of the great things about that part of the world is uh, is the hospitality that's extended to uh, folks like you and me, not uh, just by the board down there, but also by all the individual uh, families associated with the Test players. Uh, I don't know whether what sort of time you're having down there, but last time I was down there, the biggest problem was uh, trying to work out which party to go to each night. He takes the aerial route and times it well. So the young man is growing in confidence here. Once he reaches 50, he's uh, sort of blooming out now. Manager Vodhana, who's got a lot of runs in the domestic cricket scene. And showed a lot of promise. He's come good today. Conditions ideal for betting. Had a few uh, nervous moments, but on that occasion, playing inside out or the offside field for four. Edged and it's gone between the keeper and the slip. If Mongia was there, that might well have been taken. But Rahul Ravid is a part-time keeper. He had no answer to that one. It's 9.15 for four. It's a brilliant catch, absolutely brilliant catch taken there by Kulkani, who flung himself up that drive on the up by Mahalaja Wardana, and Mahalaja Wardana departs. It's Mahalaja Wardana hitting Ganguly on the up, and Kulkani flinging himself at this tired end of the day. A very good catch, and Mahalaja Wardana departs Sri Lanka 9.20 drive brilliant piece of fielding by Kulkarni he's a tall man he needed all of his length to stretch out he's bowled something like 67 overs himself in the in the innings oh, brilliant catch that was well caught and good camera work to get that as well <laughs> 